Hello and welcome to our circuit devotions here on the Doncaster Methodist Circuit YouTube channel. We welcome you in the name of our risen Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Today is Friday the 10th of June and as we awake to a brand new day, we gather all of our scattered thoughts. As we come to our senses, we become aware afresh of the presence of God. We take time to focus on our breathing. And as God is present, we ourselves become truly present in this time and space. As we align our being with God's presence, we align our being too with all God's people in every age who have shared in the ancient words of Psalm 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? As we allow the light of this new day to dawn upon us, we reflect some more upon these words of the psalmist. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Long ago, prophets knew that the light of the world would come into the world and that we would no longer be a people walking in darkness. Let's rejoice in these wonderful promises, which are not just for Christmas, but for every day, as they come to us through Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 to 7. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the day of Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing justice and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and for ever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. And yet Peter's denial in the garden reminds us how easy it is to slip back into the darkness and not to walk in the light. As we read in John chapter 18, verse 25. Meanwhile, Simon Peter was still standing there warming himself. So they asked him, You aren't one of his disciples too, are you? He denied it, saying, I am not. So let's reflect on yesterday and confess those times when we walked in darkness rather than in the light and by our words and deeds perhaps denied the light of Christ within us. We hear the words of Christ, your sins are forgiven. Amen.
Thanks be to God. As our prayers and meditations draw to a close, they do so with the words of William A. Hawley. A light came out of darkness. No light, no hope had we. Till Jesus came from heaven, our light, our hope to be. Oh, as I read the story, from birth to dying cry, a longing fills my bosom to meet him by and by. Yet deeper do I ponder his cross and sorrow see, and ever gaze and wonder why Jesus died for me. And shall I fear to own him? Can I my Lord deny? No, let me love him, serve him, and meet him by and by. And so as we prepare to take our scriptures, our prayers, our meditation into Friday, we resolve to live this day for the full, thanking God for this gift of grace, wanting to live to his glory and sharing his love with all those that we meet. And as we do so, we go praying a blessing upon us all. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you from the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Amen.